Patients often wonder how much bone and tissue is removed at the time of knee replacement. The reality is the amount of bone we remove from the end of the thigh bone or the femur and the top of the shin bone would actually fit in the palm of my hand. We make cuts that are as thick as the implants that we put in. So on the tibial or the shin bone side, we make a cut that is as thick as the tray and the polyethylene, and this is approximately 10 millimeters. On the femoral or thigh bone part, we make cuts that are as thick as the implant itself. The implant is approximately nine millimeters or a third of an inch thick at the bottom half, the front, and the back. So the cuts that we make during knee replacement reflect those dimensions. We make a cut on the end of the thigh bone, the top, the back, and then a small chamfer cut such that the femoral component that is size specific for each patient will then fit on the end of the bone, replacing the amount of bone that we've removed. On the tibial side, we make a flat cut that is perpendicular to the long axis of your shin bone. We then place a tray that has a small stem on top of that. That is usually cemented into the bone, so this becomes a new surface of the tibia or shin bone. We then replace the joint. We've preserved the ligaments on the side of the joint, and so these become a new bearing surface. The metal and the polyethylene replaces the worn out cartilage that normally is on the surface of your joint.